used to be on the top, but now they've moved it to the side so it's easier to reach. Internally, the iPhone 6 has a new processor, a new co-processor, and a bunch of other technical mumbo-jumbo that you don't really need to care about. Suffice it to say, it works really well. One feature you do want to pay attention to, available storage has now doubled to 128 gigabytes. So if you're the kind of person who likes to take a lot of photos and videos, shoot away. The iPhone 6's battery has improved, but not by leaps or bounds. You might pick up an extra hour or three over an old iPhone 5S, which is kind of disappointing considering that the 5S was already getting dinged by some for having lackluster battery life. Every year, Apple improves the cameras and its phones, and this year is no exception. The iPhone 6's new camera can focus faster and shoot even slower slow-mo. Bottom line, if you haven't gotten rid of your dedicated point-and-shoot camera or camcorder by now, the iPhone 6 might make you. So should you get one? Yeah. If you're coming from an old iPhone, the jump in screen size alone makes this a worthwhile upgrade. If you're coming from Android, well, you've known about larger screen phones for years, but now that Apple makes one, you have one less reason to choose Android over iOS, and I happen to think iOS is the better of the two. Apple may have resisted making a large screen phone for a while, but now that they have, they might have made the best one yet. <laughs>